Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, and today I'm bringing a review of the Transformers Generations Legends Class Tailgate with Ground Buster. Now, I hear from a lot of people that this figure isn't the most favorite in a lot of people's eyes. I can understand when going on to the figure itself in a minute. It can be a problem, but personally I still really like the design overall, and since I like the character in the comics and so on, I think it's pretty decent figure so let's take it to the side take a look at the box here now just like uh, what I had the problems with I think it was the cosm the swerve box I had to put the other box another box in the back just to keep it up so and as you can see it's actually scrap on this box which is the next figure I'll be reviewing we'll take a look at tailgate and uh, ground buster it's got the nice, cool, uh, like, old G1 style tech spec box. I like that design. It says in the box here, These two Autobots both have a habit of digging themselves into holes. Ground Buster will dig into almost anything that's underground, holding up there to plot his next move. Autobot Tailgate never hesitates to dig himself a hole by making stories of his exploits. He wouldn't even stop short to claiming being one of the original Primes if the occasion called for it, so... It's kind of amusing what they actually gave for the bio there. Now, taking a look at this figure, since it is a Legends class figure, it's a lot more simplistic than a lot of the other Transformers, than it isn't a Voyager or Deluxe or anything, so... But, one thing that is kind of disappointing is... Both Groundbuster and Reflector suffer from one major issue, and that is their... Minicon MicroMaster partner have like almost no transformation scheme. Basically, transform him right now in his uh, weapon mode to his vehicle mode is pretty much you just kind of collapse the entire body in, pull the peg, and there you have him in his bulldozer mode. Now, here comes the problem to transform him after that. Yeah, that's it. You can pull up the hands if you wished, but that's it. You just kind of stand them up, hands are out. So that's kind of unfortunate that they made that part pretty nuts. There's like no real transformation gimmick really at all except for the weapon mode, so it's kind of dumb. As for Tailgate itself, we'll now take a look at. Articulation, his head is... Like it can turn, but this back panel has a hard time to even get the go in to even reach the head, so sometimes it's hard to try, turn it. His arms are on ball joints, which allow full movement around. And his arm, hands are on ball joints, so allows some movement there too. Which also, which just unfortunately gets hindered due to his giant part of his arm here. No waist articulation, his legs are on ball joints, but get stuck there. His knees are on ball joints, but once again, gets restricted by the side panels. His feet can pivot, so in terms of articulation, I can kind of see why people had a problem with, since almost everything of this toy's design hinders everything, so he barely has any articulation to move around. Now to transform him, what you do is turn the hand on both sides, pull up this entire body here, so it looks like that. Pull down this back panel here, close up the hands, so they look like that, so that this little piece becomes like his exhaust pipes in the back. Turn the leg panels here, it's another face this way, and then here you should see these little slots on the side of his feet. You slot into the side of the vehicle commode right there. So now you make sure that you turn them around. And you slot them on the side there like that. Do the same for the other side. And then you just peg everything together. Like that. And then there's these two small pegs which peg inside the panels in there. Then, once you get everything pegged together, you'll have tailgate in his vehicle mode. 
Tell's vehicle mode is pretty decent actually, especially for its size. It's pretty nice touch. I like the blue flames that they added to his hood. But over in terms of color, that's pretty much all you get. You got some silver for the window designs and on the sides. But other than other than that for paint applications, you barely see any new other paint applications in this mode. So what you can also do is transform this ground buster into its uh, weapon mode again. And you can peg it into the hole that's on his, uh, what's it called, the hood. And then, there you go, he just got this giant claw weapon. Now the wheels on him roll pretty well actually, so that's pretty cool. What's also kind of interesting is that the wheel designs actually are different from the front and the back. As you can see here, they're just regular silver there, while well, here they actually have holes inside, so give, they decided to give them a little bit of a different wheel design. So it looks to be on opposite, not opposite really, it's actually the same wheel, so it's pretty cool. To transfer them back, all you need to do is peg the legs like that, peg the arms, push up the legs and collapse it like that, push up the back, pull out the arms and then turn them, turn these panels on the sides, turn the legs, and then push up the feet. There you have him back in his robo mode. And then you can obviously just put ground buster back on if you wish to. So, yeah, once again, I could see why it's got some problems in his robo mode in terms of articulation. They could have kind of did a little better here by making it less restrictive. But for its size and design, I think it's okay. I think it works pretty decent, and I still really like Tailgate's design. I got this from Amazon during when they just randomly put them up. Oh no 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 sorry no that was that was just Cosmos and Square. I forgot. I actually found this at Target like about two three weeks ago. So it's a pretty nice figure, and for some reason it seems like a lot of stores have actually skipped the Swerve and Cosmos wave and went straight into this wave. So if you go around and check Target, since I don't really haven't any spotted at Toys R Us, at least from what I know. So, if you like the design, the character, I say pick him up. She should be a target. It's priced varyingly from $9.99, $11.99, $10, whatever. The price is all differ depending on what area you live in. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, check out Toka News, Hirotaka, Rajinion, and the other channels down below, and I'll see you YouTube. Bye.